Greetings, fellow humans. Bad Mark here with another transmission from Met Tech Keyboards. Today, we're taking a look at another in stock aluminum 75% keyboard. This one is the one from Warmier. This is the SK75. Um, everything that I've seen so far indicates that this is going to probably be the one to beat, but I will be doing a video comparing all of these, including the Rainy 75. Um, though the Rainy 75 isn't technically an in-stock keyboard, though they said it would be, um, I want to compare them all so that you guys can get a good idea, apples to apples, how well these keyboards compare to each other. This one I've been looking forward to because I think that it's probably going to be at the upper end of the list, let's just say. But this is the Warmier SK75%. Um, this one in particular, it is the Retro White. And it is the one, this one has Maya. Now there's only a couple of them that have Maya. We'll see if we're dealing with actual Maya that's built on top of QMK or a private copy of Maya or say a cloned Maya. But CNC aluminum body with elegant design, triple mode, universal connectivity, Maya compatible, supports various personal, personal customization and high quality double shot full palm stock switches palm all right so without further ado let's go ahead and dive on in and see what we've got in the box all right before taking a look at the keyboard let's see what we have in the box we have a very decently thick user manual it looks like it comes in several different languages but it is made out of user manual paper the glossy stuff so um the nicer user manuals that i've seen included with these keyboards sometimes it's just a sheet of paper so that is always nice oh and it actually has a chart of the rgb lighting effects very nice in the accessories box we have the 2.4 gigahertz dongle it would have been nice for warmier to add a sticker or some sort of silk screening to let us know that this is a warmer um, 2.4 gigahertz dongle uh, we have your standard USB-A to USB-C rubberized cable. Looks like we have a an extra escape key, uh, enter, and a space bar. We have your standard switch and key cap puller. Oh, looks like we have a couple of extra keys. Command, opt, and... Oh, yeah, okay, so we got some keys for Mac. And we have some spare switches. Now, these are full palm. I guess they're linear. Oh, yeah, that's a light linear. Like 35, maybe 40 grams. They sound quite nice. They have... doesn't does not appear to be long pulled, though. It does have a nice bottom out. And they definitely sound like they're lubed as there's no ping. They also have the um, little diffuser piece. Uh, it's an LED diffuser. So it's always nice when we get some extra switches and extra keycaps. And here we are with the Warmier SK75. And I've got to say, it is quite nice. We do have a dust cover, which is always appreciated. Keeping this on the keyboard when you don't use it will ensure that it lasts longer. Wow, this thing is a beaut. I'm not sure exactly if they were trying to copy a keycap set or if they just key came up with their own. But the colors on here, the red pop, the off-white with the grayish beige uh, legends of the uh, reverse done on the other keys that is really nice that's um <laughs> that's funny because that almost looks like somebody else's logo now see for the bottom yep we do have a very nice weight that looks like a mirror pvd if i'm not mistaken that's quite nice indeed hey i could see myself It's very nice. These um, these keys are just lovely. Uh, let's uh, 
let's see what we've got underneath. All right, first I'd like to measure the thickness of these key caps. So they do appear to be. Are they die sub? Are they? No, I think they're double shot. I'm pretty sure they're double shot. Those two colors are too close. Yeah, they, they are double shot key caps. And it does look like we have a PC plate. And the thickness on these key caps is 1.4 millimeters. That's a pretty good thickness. 1.4 is on definitely on the, the, the thicker end. So we're going to have a deeper, more well-defined um, sound profile. These are a cherry profile. And pretty sure they're PBT. They feel like it for sure. Let's take a look at these stabilizers. All right, we have some standard clip-in stabilizers. And there's only the most minimal of lubrication. But to be quite honest, I like to see a little bit rather than a lot. Um, now looking in here, it does appear that we have screw in stabilizer holes on the PCB. So let's hope that we actually have enough clearance with this plate. So when we come back to mod it, we can uh, replace it with some screw in stabilizers. But let's see. We want these in place. These are actually pretty well attached. There's not much to complain about these stabilizers as they are. I don't hear any tick whatsoever on this. Uh, the finish on this is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, the color matching with the base of the alpha keys and the off-white of the case is just gorgeous i mean i'm i am partial <laughs> to this colorway um because it's very retro and the off-white because that's how everything was in the 80s when i was a kid and i started getting into uh, pcs and technology so this definitely speaks to me now i know that they have this available in different colors but my goodness this is just This is one of the few keyboards that I get and I'm like, nothing I need to do to it, it's ready to go. And that's rare for me because usually I'll be like, oh, let me just change this out. Well, let me just do this. Well, let me just do that. But this one, I am very satisfied with the way it comes. Now, I'm definitely seeing some similarities with uh, the way that the um, Rainy is as far as the switch goes here. And then the mounting this is probably going to be that same leaf spring mountain system right there. Um, they have an extra spot there, but I don't know if there's actually a spot for a step caps lock. Because there is on the rainy, but this has it covered. We'll have to take a look when I get in there. Well, I don't want to dive too much into it right now, as I want these to remain stock as I will be doing my 75 comparison, comparison of all these in stock 75% keyboards, then comparing it to the Rainy, which is very elusive and a lot more expensive than they originally claimed. So, and I'm not sure what's actually going on with the company. I personally would not buy it directly from them. If you see it somewhere in stock at a trusted retailer, uh, perhaps give it a chance, but I've read too many issues. I've got a mailbox whole folder filled with people that never received their rainy or received an, an incomplete or, or defective unit. So just something to consider. Let's go ahead and see what the lights look like on this lovely keyboard. All right, so I guess I use function tab to flip over to wired. Just the specs. Today we are taking a look at the Warmere SK75, a three mode 81 key aluminum 75% that is available in six different colors. It is a low latency and hi-fi layered keyboard. It is also available with a white or chroma mirror bottom weight. 
The PCB is 1.2 millimeters in thickness. It is south facing and has three and five pin hot swap compatibility with flex cuts. It comes preloaded with a gasket mounted PC plate, double shot PBT cherry keycaps, and warmer palm pre-lubed linear switches. The battery capacity on this keyboard is 4,000 milliamp hours and comes weighing in at 1,889 grams. The chin of this keyboard sits at 23 millimeters above the typing surface, while the back sits at 39 millimeters, providing for an angle of typing of nine degrees. This keyboard currently MSRPs for $109.99, though is currently available for just over $99 with a 10% off coupon on warm your site links below well i have to say this is a lovely keyboard i mean for the price um the fact that it is 99 dollars right now i don't know how much longer that'll last but it's 99 dollars fully loaded extra switches extra keycaps and it's <clears throat> this is almost exactly uh the, the rainy 75 i mean here let me grab one I mean, these are basically the same keyboard, except this one you can buy in stock. You can get it from Amazon. You can get it from Warmier. You know that you're going to get it. You don't have to go through any group buy or crowdsource or crowdfunding silliness. You can just go ahead and buy it. And I can say that Warmier, the reason that I began a relationship with Warmier was through their support because their support was so good. They actually respond. They actually communicate they actually find solutions whereas rainy you're lucky to get a hold of anybody but i mean as we can see they're, they're basically uh, almost twin brothers here yes the weight is a little bit different there's a little bit more space on this side but i mean these are extremely similar keyboards but Honestly, this keyboard I would highly recommend over the Rainy 75. This is a solid keyboard. Um, we've got a good number of choices and as far as the colors for the case go, the finish is lovely. It has a texture to it. It's not rough like sandpaper. It's just a texture so that you know that, I mean, obviously the mirror is, is mirror finish. That's as flat and as, uh, as um, slippery as can be. But the finish on this aluminum is just, it's lovely. I, um, I don't know the, the names of the differences of how they finish the aluminum. I know one is electrophoresis, which I believe is like paint dust with electricity um and there's other different ways of coloring it this is one of my favorite uh finishes because like i said it leaves a it leaves a texture that is nice but it's not something that feels like sandpaper like if i keep doing like this on some finishes that i felt it's almost like it's going to take the top layer of my dermis off but this this feels nice it just feels like it has grip and that it's not going to easily slip out of my hand. The keycaps, I love these keycaps. I do wish that I had a couple of um, uh, uh, replacements for these, and I do wish that it had the step caps lock, but I have a sneaking suspicion that this probably has more sockets on it than it's leading to believe. It's the same thing on the rainy. Um, you have to get a different plate to actually access the ISO, the split shift, the split backspace. So I look forward to coming back to this one. But like I said, right now I'm leaving it stock because I've got a slew. Uh, um, almost all of them, if not all of the popular 75% um, aluminums. Um, a couple of them are reversions or new versions, but I think that they, they stand out. One in particular that I think, just in the back of my head, that I think is going to be near the top i'll be doing that video soon because it just arrived today but again i'm going to be doing these individually then i'll come back and i'll do it's going to be about 
between six and seven, six and eight different models of the aluminum 75% keyboards that basically kind of compare to the rainy in one way or the other, but are available in stock and usually cheaper. And some of them are even available as bare bones, though this one, um, from what I can see, they all appear to come with the same warmer palm linear. It's a very nice switch. It has a nice bottom out. Um, and I've got nothing against it. I've never heard it or seen it before. But it, as far as linear goes, I'm more of a tactile guy. It's, it's a decent linear. So um, I do like that switch. I'm going to see if I can find out more about that switch. But I know for some folks, they're just going to be like, hey, I've, got, I've already got keycap sets I like. I've already got switches that I like. So a couple of these are going to be available in bare bone models uh, and even cheaper. But like I said, this one is definitely, in my opinion, so far, and like I said, I still have a couple of them to take a look at so far. This one is top of the line. This one is, if you compare it apples to apples with the Rainy, I would pick this one over the Rainy 75 um, because I trust Warmer. And because it, it, it's just, it is a really nice keyboard. And the choices that they made, the couple of design choices they make made, I actually prefer over the rainy, especially in how that wedge is done. So again, I will be doing a comparison video of 75% keyboards, the aluminum ones, the all in stock ones, the $100 and less. I mean, I know a couple of them might be like 110, but in that range, the $100 range, for 75% pre-built aluminums and similar that have this um, hi-fi uh, sound profile straight out of the box. Anyway, I, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys got any questions about this keyboard, I will be coming back to it. I got to visit the Via. And again, I'm going to open it up and take a look at it But after I do the comparison video. But so far, Via does seem to be uh, the the fake buy same thing that's on the rainy it's a closed source software that has um, basically an api that communicates with via so that a lot of the things you can change you can remap keys um, it has uh, four four different layers or six different layers no, i forgot um, but it has a number of layers both your mac and your windows but if you guys got any questions about how to use it let me know and i'll do a separate video on that uh, but it's pretty standard. If you look at my, if you search Mons Geek Via on my channel, you'll find a video, very short, but it kind of walks you through how to open up Via with a lot of these keyboards, even though it says for Mons Geek, it kind of applies for all these different keyboards. So for right now, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test, of the Warmier SK75, a lovely 75% um, that just, uh, it's going to be going on my desk as a, uh, a daily driver for right now because I quite enjoy it. And again, it'll be coming back to my 75% comparison video because that's been one of the biggest topics uh, that has been coming to me is everybody asking, hey, so what? which one of these should I get? Should I get the Wormier? Should I get the Rainy? Should I get the Yunzi? Should I get the this? Should I get... Well, I'm going to do comparison. I'm going to do apples to apples side by side so that we can together kind of decide what's S tier and what are the rest of the tiers. Don't get me wrong. I think they all have something to offer, but when you put it all in a box and compare them, you know, how long does it take? How much does it cost? What kind of support am I going to get? You know, all those things together so that we can actually rank these from the best option to the probably not so best option. So until then, um, I do hope that you have a beautiful and awesome day. I'm going to leave you now with a stock sound test of the Warmer SK75. And until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.